We'll see if CJ can get that 2-0. OGN.azubu.tv. Go there. Vote. Watch plays. You tell them, buddy. That's right. All right. Nidalee and LeBlanc, the first two bans again this game, so nobody mixing it up quite yet. CJ still banning out Nidalee in spite of that being one of their preferred junglers as well. But Eve is so good on that champion that it is understandable if Ambition would rather be playing something like Sejuani. Got that MVP in the last one. Yeah, they've got a chance to first pick it again this game. Rumble. You know, with Sejuani coming up in 5.5, it really does put the whole Rek'Sai situation in an interesting place, doesn't it, Picks and Bands? Yeah, I, I think Rek'Sai is still stronger, just in competitive play as a whole. When you can coordinate around her ultimate and her Tremor Sense as a team, it gives you so many advantages. Yeah. Uh, Lulu Ban, Rumble but... Ban. Yeah, Lulu taken out this time. Samsung did first pick the Lulu last time. Now, are they going to ban Annie or Rek'Sai or give one of them up? Lissandra will be taken out I think that's finally a good against Ace. So, Kennen available this time around, and there is Urgot. Urgot. Do you really need to ban Urgot if you're already kind of confirmed to not be running the uh, Juggermaw? I, I think that it's just a powerful pick right now. We've seen it do well. It's a very difficult to deal with in lane, and with a lot of other tanks, you can really just make this very annoying, unkillable composition. Now, it's been ran in the mid lane in NA. Have they ran an AD carry yet? I don't believe I've seen them do that. Yeah, yeah not to my knowledge, no. Yeah. Interesting. So, first pick for CJ. They've got that Rek'Sai available. I feel like that's the, that's the way you go. Just grab that Rek'Sai. You know, do you grab the Maokai, though, for Shy? That's the only other one where it's like, oh, maybe. Because if you do and they take Rek'Sai, you still get Sejuani. I don't know. I don't think wow. I grab Annie first, but they will. That is very bold by CJ Entis. Of course, it was banned in the last game, and Madlife has preferred that champion. But even so, first picking Seriously. support Annie is a bit risky, especially yeah. when you leave champions like Maokai like Sejuani, like Rek'Sai on the table. Yeah. And I think they're thinking right now that Samsung takes Maokai, Rek'Sai right here, and then they get Sejuani, and then they have more hard CC and full engage, I think is the logic that is running through CJ Antis' head right now. Well, I think the other thing too is you're, you're just not afraid of letting Samsung get to the late game. And so when you give them those champs that are good in the late game, it's like, yeah, they're powerful champions, but the players aren't able to sort of bring that potential out on a team like Samsung right, right they, now. They lose the game before they can scale pretty exactly. much. Yeah, it's a good, it's a good point yeah. against Samsung in general. Normally, I would not want to uh, give that up to another team, but I think against Samsung, it's okay. They're going to take the Sejuani, too, so this does leave Rek'Sai open for ambition. And they'll take that right away, obviously. Maybe not so obviously. I suppose you don't necessarily need to pick it up right now. Nah, you're going to take it. Yeah? Are you, I mean, I suppose if you do, you can hide more as well, too. Well, Nudu, 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 Nudu is really strong right now, especially if you, yeah. there's possibility that something like Jinx comes in here. We don't yeah. frequently see Jinx in Korea. But, but what about uh, just Caitlyn, perhaps? Yeah, Caitlyn, maybe, still have some issues with a mid-game uh, power spike, so. Not with Annie, or, like, I guess, mid-game power trough, it's a bit awkward. Yeah. Uh, Jinx has a more even power curve all the way through the game, as well as a lot of split pushing potential. So we'll see. Yeah. I like Nunu. Another one of those tank junglers that's going to do very well in the new patch. Or the Scion. Picked up for Shy. Or maybe Coco, who knows? Honestly, Jungle Scion is very good right now as well. Would you play Nunu support? Well, I don't know what's going on. This could be quite crazy, depending on what CJ wants to do. That's so. true, because it could be like a mid Annie, could even be a top Annie, if your name's Looper and you play in the LPL. <laughs> Probably going to be top Scion, almost certainly, but yeah. we'll just have to wait and see if CJ has anything up their sleeve. We've seen a lot of really weird stuff happening on this batch, so I'm not entirely sure where these players are going to be taking many of these picks. I didn't think we'd see mid Scion double of banner command last week. We saw it, and it won. Looks like it might be another Kogma for Fury. But without the means to really protect him, do you think Morgana Sejuani Maokai gives you enough peel for that Kogma? It's quite a bit. It is quite a bit of peel, but still. It's it's a lot, yeah. I don't know. This could be a 
This could still be a mid Morgana as well. Remember, Samsung likes to play that. Yes, it has been Bliss who's been playing that, but yeah. even so, that has been a trend within Samsung as a team. And with a Kog'Maw, you have enough damage that you can get away with a lower damage mid laner sometimes. You aren't going to be able to walk that same line that you can with picks like Lulu and stuff on your team. You're not going to be able to get up quite as far. Ace switching to Cleanse, actually. Yeah. Makes you wonder if there's a different mid laner coming in. Certainly might be. And uh, Siver, uh, Siver Annie, a very strong composition. Looks like Coco is going to be taking that Vladimir again if they lock it in. Might as well. They have that engage now to back it up, as, w as well as Siver just doing a lot of damage with that well, blood boil. Yeah, I was going to say. Very hyper, hyper carry if you have that combo going. All right, so heavy engage coming in from CJ Antis. They will end up locking in the mid Vlad for the second game in a row. Yep. So what's it going to be? With that cleanse, like you mentioned, you have to wonder if they're considering picking up a different mid laner. And they will. It's going to be oh, a wow. seer for Ace. He was buffed on this patch, so. That came out of left field, though. I'm not exactly sure he's been buffed enough. But yeah. you are able to block Scion ults with the Azir ult and prevent a lot of this Sivir engage. So as a situational yep. pick where you will be able to peel for Kog'Maw even more than they could already, this could be quite interesting, actually. And Vlad will have a tough time without movement. I mean, he just getting into the team composition with an Azir ult blocking his way could be really quite challenging. Yeah. It's interesting, man. Nothing but interesting stuff in 5.5 so far, that's for sure. Old picks coming back, new picks that we haven't really seen much before. Very cool stuff. That's CJ Antis again with a win here. They can lock in their uh, playoff spot, and they can completely lock in the top four. Yeah, Samsung running a very good protect the protect the cog comp here. Yep. I'm not sure how Azir does in the Vladimir matchup. I imagine he can poke pretty well early. Now we're going to find out. It is time. So how are they going to get in? That's the question for CJ. They're going to need some really good flanks this game in order to deal with Azir. That's right. And Ace needs to be on point with his ultimates to make sure that no one can get into the back line, especially Scion. That's right. Here we go. CJ versus Samsung. Let's get in the game. Welcome back. CJ Antis versus Samsung Galaxy. Samsung long eliminated, long since eliminated from the playoffs, but CJ could guarantee themselves a spot with a win right here, right now. Coco mixing up his Vladimir skin for game two. I guess so. And uh, Coco still continuing to mix up his champion pool since I am. It's really good to see this for Coco. Uh, CJ was stagnating. They went on that big win streak, but it came at really just kind of running double AD strategies. And they look good with it, but we saw them fall off during the second part of our round robin as a result of kind of stagnant picks and stagnant play. And CJ has come back with a bit more variety now, especially in that mid lane position and Ambition looking increasingly comfortable in the jungle role. Yeah. Still a little bit iffy in, uh, in terms of decision making once in a while for CJ. Played a great game last game. Yeah. I think he's been a lot they more did. consistent in his last few best of threes. I meant the team as a whole. Oh, yeah, especially yeah. at the late game. Against GE, they came in with those really big advantages in this position. Mostly, I would say CJ's biggest problem right now is how they path to group for objectives, because that's when they start getting picked off. Mm -hmm. So they, they have been a little bit overly susceptible to picks. Well, it's a dangerous thing against a team like Samsung, but the benefit is that if you make it into the late game, like we saw last time, you're just going to get outmaneuvered. All right, Ace took the small Raptors. Gromp was taken by Fury Whoa. and Wraith. Oh, that's normal. Never mind. I got distracted for a second. <laughs> it's perfectly just okay, Doa. The Raptors. Please don't panic. I won't. It's fine. I Joe Miller that one, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> Getting scared for Scion. 
Oh, it's getting scared oh, wow. for Fury right oh. now. Look at the damage. Is it enough? The flash, the auto. Burn they the force heal. that summoner heal. They got the flash as well, too. So trading summoners, but a little bit more used on Samsung's side oh, at man, dangerous moment. So good for CJ. Space yes, with so much HP left. He's actually going to force Fury to back early on. And wow. even though Gromp was taken, saw the Krugs taken on the side of CJ as well. So a lot of these explosive level two fights today. Yep. Meanwhile, Ace uh, has been able to push Coco back a little bit, but Azir does have quite a bit of zoning he can do. Yeah, Coco's not going to be able to get up there to sustain off the creeps early. Eventually, he'll be more or less able to ignore the Sand Soldiers. Yep. Mad Life did go back, but Space getting that solo XP going to be very useful. Coming in right here compared to Wraith. Shy. Playing Tank Wars at the top side, Ooh. Eve. A little bit low. He's all right. Curious to see how Shy's Scion is going to uh, to work out. Yeah, not a champion we've seen a lot out of Shy this season, yeah. so. Yeah. It'll be interesting. A lot of it is uh, going to depend on the teleports. You know, what sort of flanks can he create on this uh, yeah. this composition? Because he's not going to be able to come in from the front, that's for sure. Samsung is good at playing this composition. They are going to be really difficult to team fight. Yeah. That's that's a trick, though. They have to be good at playing this composition. Yeah. And that's going to include playing it into the late game. Vision just stealing the big raptor there. Goes in for a little snack. Yep. Huge CS lead for space. Man, that was yeah, that's brutal. so big. Brutal, man. Uh, Mad Life coming up so far and justifying that first pick as well oh, as the ban. But can Eve they do it coming now? Coming over the wall, an early gank. Flash Shark binding on the Mad Life. Space throwing a couple autos in. Mad Life still in big, big trouble. No Flash. He's going to go down. That's first blood for Fury. That certainly makes up for uh, losing a bit of CS, doesn't it? All right. And smart gank from Sejuani coming over the wall where there was no ward into yep. that brush instead of just walking straight through the river. CJ had that ward in river, but they did not have a ward in the river brush. So good gank path from Eve to find that. And now we'll open up a dragon Fury too. will be right back in this one. Maybe not. He's taking the scuttler right there. Mad life coming back into lane right now would be quite risky to go for a dragon at this stage. I guess so. What if they would have went for it? Well, they didn't have vision. They couldn't have just gone for it right after the kill on Mad Life. Yeah, and the plus the mid lane was pushed up. We do have Coco there. Yeah. With the early response. And a bit surprised Azir went for cleanse in this game. Nope. Actually, Jungle fight. <laughs> very vision. concerned about Mad Life getting the drop on him. I would be too. But meanwhile, a little bit of a duel up in the top lane. Kuve getting. A bit low. And early on, that poke from Scion can be a little bit scary to deal with. But it looks like Kuve is going to be just fine. And he has performed better on Maokai than really any other champion. Ambition is such a bully right now in the jungle. Wow. I'm really happy we're seeing Ambition on this new new. I think that this helps out CJ so much when he yeah. can really be aggressive safely in the enemy jungle. And it's a really strong pickup right now in the current meta. These tanky champions can do a lot of work. Yep. And when he's able to get that Juggermon chant and kind of be in the middle of team fights ulting, that's going to be potentially a decent amount of AoE damage as well, too. Yeah, we'll see what exactly he can do with that. As long as he isn't knocked around, there's a lot of CC abilities to oh, yeah. deal with absolute zero in this situation. So he has to be a little bit choosy as to when he uses it. Make the big plays flash over the incoming zero. <laughs> Into absolute zero. Yeah, the flash yep. Nunu are the dream. That's right. Not, uh, probably not what you'd expect from from uh, Ambition. I could see Kakao doing that, but. I want to see him flash over a wall into the back line and hit R. That's what I want to see. Well, we've seen that before. Not from Ambition. Well, this is boring. Yep. Pretty much. <laughs> Scion versus Maokai. I mean, you'd think uh, Maokai would be at a little bit of, a bit of a disadvantage because he's a tree and Shy has a big axe. But I mean, Shy he, critically is not using the Lumberjack skin. I know, skin. right? 
He should that's have seen you, this coming. That's how you intimidate your opponents. Yeah. You you counter them with skins. Wow. I mean, seriously, Lumberjack, Scion <laughs> versus Maokai, hidden no P. You have to counter with skins. Yep. It's true. Unless you're Faker, he needs he needs nothing outside of his own skill. He only uses skins by mistake. Every time he uses a skin, he's like, "Oh, it was it was just on the computer already. I didn't mean to do it." <laughs> Yep. He makes a point of saying that every time. He's not going to be known for his skin usage, Doa. Nope. Even if he has a Zed skin made in his honor. Yep, that's right. He's like, well, I would just feel vain using it. Maybe his, maybe that's what he thinks. I don't know. Man, if I had a skin, I would use it all the time. Probably be a Lulu skin. Would it not your beloved Nami? No, Lulu's always been my favorite champ. I'm, I'm done with Nami for now. You're over Nami. Oh, yeah. You're breaking up with Nami. Well, it just is not working solo queue, you know? She, you was can't, she was singing too much, too annoying. You cannot, well, I've never played that skin, and I never will, but <laughs> you can't you can't support carry with Nami. Or uh, you can a little bit more with Jana, but still. You should go for her engage. If you're gonna play support in solo queue, well, first, I'm sorry, but secondly, you have to be aggressive. Otherwise, you're rolling the old uh, team dice. <laughs> yeah, that's not a fun thing to roll most of the time. No. Well, ambition. Eliminating the Rift Coward from the equation for the moment. Yeah, and look at that. You can see this tree just not doing well against the giant guy with the axe. Very lore appropriate. <laughs> Even though he has more CS. Yep. Uh, Space has done so much damage to this turret already before Fury even hits six. This matchup should start to turn around just a little bit right now. Eve wants to come down onto that bottom side, but he's easily seen with the Rift Scuttler. It's a ward for uh, both teams, actually. You can see uh, Samsung put a ward right down on top of the Rift Scuttler. Uh oh uh oh See, this is why you need the Lumberjack skin. Would have been instant death with the Lumberjack skin. Yep. Just one shot him. Well, I mean, trees take a couple hits usually. Not if you're a giant zombie. Yeah, but that's a giant tree, man. <laughs> I don't know. I think you could do it. If you were the size of a tree, I think you could one shot a tree. I mean, giant zombie versus giant tree. That sounds like we're getting into sci-fi original <laughs> series uh, you know, territory here, but still. I think the giant, the two giants cancel each other out, and then it's just a normal lumberjack against a normal tree, even if it's a normal undead lumberjack. I don't know. I'm pretty sure if it was a tree the same size as, uh, as me, and I was as uh, undead as uh -huh. Scion. Not as, double uh, undead. Not double undead, but you get, like, super strength when you're undead, too. Zombies are strong, man. That's only because they can't feel their own muscles, like, being overexerted. Pretty sure if I was a zombie, I could take out a six-foot tree in one shot. Yeah? Yep. Hmm, I'm not so sure. <laughs> you need, like, a straw pole or something. <laughs> if Monty was a six-foot zombie, would he take out a tree in one shot? We'll let you, the people on the Internet, decide. Oh, wow. Oh, used by Ace, keeping Coco away there. That Hemoplague actually did a lot of damage. But Samsung able to take down the dragon. Yeah, they saw Ambition on the top side. So yep. immediately all inning that dragon. Not too exciting so far. Not really, Bomb is Tank Cinder. Wars. I hope yeah. this doesn't become the normal meta. Oh boy. Don't scare me like that, man. But you're right. It certainly could. It's okay, just wait till Soraka comes back, too. It'll be oh Soraka boy. and tanks. Yep, the we're going to have the. Uh, you know, at least we're not going to see the, the four heel Dr. Mundo comp from <laughs> uh, a while ago. That was great. I don't know what you're talking about. That was not Samsung great. Samsung Blue played that. I know, that was in NLB, wasn't it? Yeah. That was a long game. Oh, Fury, look at all that damage coming in onto space. It's about as much damage going in onto Fury. Pretty much equal damage, but Fury having to, uh, well, space having to run away there. Again. Oh, there's the ult. Uh, huh? That's how you run into a minion wave. Oh, I think uh, they thought Madlife could maybe get in there and stun. But yes, but there was a minion wave. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> in the way. Gotta go fast. Them. You gotta yeah. slam your face repeatedly into a minion wave as fast as possible. Ambition's like, hey, I heard there was some action going on. I heard an ult got popped. Oh. I'm here, guys. I'm helping. 
Oh, Eve. Probably saw that ward come in. Uh, they may have seen Eve right there. I yeah. Well, I mean, Eve saw the ward, that's for sure. But did the ward see Eve? I'm not convinced. Yep. Wait. Yeah, okay. I think actually they may have seen Eve coming in off of blue buff right there, uh, which is why they didn't go in. But it was a funny engage anyway, and it was delayed by the fact that they were path blocked. Well, they're going to get the Rift Scuttler. Meanwhile, action to the turret. There's a nice tipper stun. Fury getting low. That's the turret down. That's Fury down as well. CJ backing off for the moment. Space uh -oh. going right back in onto Coco Eve, ghosting. though. Here comes Coco and Ambition. Yep, can Coco get there? Still, he doesn't have Hemo Flag up right now. Oh. Eve getting low, but... This could be a lot of map control for CJ. They've got time to get some wards in the jungle now, even more, but their mid turret taking a lot of damage from Ace. And of course, even after some of these nerfs, if Azir is left alone with the turret for very long, he can oh, do a lot of damage to Shy. Kuve blocking uh, Shy from coming down onto Ace. He's still gonna try to get in. There's Coco's the slow. here. Ace trying to make it out. Coco not able to do enough damage. It's a nice little Zoning off the turret at the very least by Shy. Yeah, man, look at the lead space has over Fury. It's crazy. 30 yeah. CS about. Couldn't actually finish that kill, but yeah. a good all in, actually. Oh, Coco getting all in by uh, Samsung, getting very, very low. Didn't even need to use pool, though. Well, Eve also had no ult, so. Yeah. Well, it's only so much you can do. Not too terribly much threat. It does force a recall, so uh, CJ's going to need to be a little bit more careful about defending that mid lane. Looks like he'll be going Abyssal as a second item, just to yep. help out with the poke coming in. From Azir, Ambition actually has to... Oh. Looks like Space will be heading to the tower defense instead. Bit sloppy there from CJ, though. And they're going to lose a tower as oh. a result. Oh, okay. yeah. Ace is, Ace is actually going to Here comes Mad Life. Can he get in? And he's getting so close. Q, there's a stun, and he gets it. Mad Life making a bloodthirsty play there. Kuve teleports in, but the teleport coming from Shy as well. They want a team fight. Coco locked up for the moment. Ambition tries to get the slow on to Kuve. Fury doing a lot of damage from the side, though. They'll still get the kill on the top laner. And CJ will be satisfied with a little bit of punishment after losing that mid lane turret, getting two kills themselves. We're beginning to understand why. Mad Life has had this anti band against him in so many games recently. Yeah. You know, a few weeks ago on this champion, he wasn't looking this threatening, but man, in this game, he has made a lot of good early plays. Sure, he gave up the first blood, and they were overextended at that time, but it was a little bit of a tricky gank from Eve. But otherwise, he's known his limits really well, and he's picked up so many advantages, including that massive CS lead for space on the bottom side. Yep. Space. Shy adjusting his jaw there. The crown of Jarvan the first. How do you chew with the crown? Uh, well, I don't know. A lot of people have crowns in their mouths. <laughs> Doesn't stop them. Touche, sir. Boom. <laughs> kind of set yourself up, though. I did. That one. Yeah. I should have seen that one. It's okay. <laughs> blame, blame Riot lore. Oh. Uh, oh, you've been discovered. Hey. Run. Ooh, that was close. Space will finally join them in lane. They did try and set up for a little bit of a cute trick to see if Kube would overextend. But Kube does have the Glacial Shroud now. This Blood Boiled Sivir will do quite a number on these turrets. Yeah, quite a number on uh, Kube as well, too, potentially. Ambition, there we're going to go. They're going to go in on this space. There's a nice stun. Kube, he's got armor, but he doesn't have that much tankiness. And there it is, Mad Life <laughs> with another kill. Because <laughs> why not? 3 one, one yeah, that's the Bloodthirsty Mad Life we know and love. Tibber's tanking the turret, so they'll get that one. It's been a long time, though, since we've seen Mad Life beat this outstanding in terms of playmaking ability on a support, this Annie. It was your god game, man. I mean, it reawoke him. Really justifying the first pick, Annie. You have to hand it to them. They know what so. they're good at, and he is playing extremely well this game. Yeah. yeah. Distortion and chant on the boots now, so he'll have that flash Tibber's up even more often now. Yeah, that, there he is. it was the, the Urgot. The Urgot again, it unlocked the mad life of old. He's like, I remember a time when I had to constantly save my carry and make awesome plays. <laughs> he became complacent now that Space has figured out. That's right. Th how see, to that's be better the at League of Legends. Space, theoretically, is probably the best carry mad life has ever had. And it <laughs> made him a little bit lazy, I guess. It's actually a scary statement, but it's a true, true one. 
Here comes Scion. Oops, <laughs> ran right into the wall there. I love Scion. Meanwhile, Kube coming around. Madlife with a nice stun onto oh Ace. He's going to get taken off. Madlife really doing a good job of locking people up for space to get the damage in. And now he certainly can. They're going to push Samsung away. Could be an easy dragon. CJ not done yet. They're going to turn on to the dragon now. And will Samsung engage? Ooh, Eve is taking so much damage. I don't know if they can do this. Fury is stunned. And CJ locked up just a bit. They're going to trade a couple. But they do manage to get Sejuani. Kills coming in. There's a flash. Can they follow it up? Fury flashing over the wall himself. Coco chasing Ambition. Gets a snowball onto Kog'Maw. That's going to allow Space to come in and land more. A double kill, though, for Coco at the end of it. Ah, Dragon's ambition. still alive. Oh, man. Fury getting a little bit of revenge from beyond the grave, but the dragon will still go. Looks like, unless Wraith can do anything about this. Over to CJ. I don't think there's a lot he can do here. Uh, Coco right there coming back into support to ensure that they actually get the second dragon of the game. Wraith not able to do much of anything. Ace just exploded in that fight. Yeah. And also, Madlife didn't even have his ult up. Nope, that was just a regular old stun. Wow, so. CJ choosing to fight with a lot of cooldowns, or at least a very important one for their composition down right here, but Bad Life gets the W stun. Coco immediately flashing over yep. and blowing up Ace instantly before he has a chance to do much of anything. And then it's all CJ's fight pretty much from this point forward. Shy does a good job of clogging the choke now. Yeah, Shy and Ambition. And this is a really good turn, that. by the way, as well. Uh, not committing to the dragon, seeing that they have everybody stunned up. As soon as Shy lands that stun, they immediately turn around and follow up. Space does not get hit by the Sejuani ultimate, so can keep auto attacking through it. Yeah, Mad Life getting up there for just a bit more damage, just a bit more stuns before going down. 4 2 4 on this Annie. I think if this keeps up, we might see a Mad Life MVP. Oh, yeah. He's 100% kill contribution so far. He's yep. been making so many plays this game. It's been awesome. And awesome to watch. Fury has caught up quite a bit in CS against Space, it looks like. But, yeah, but he's fallen behind in terms of kill and assist gold. Yeah, so CJ still with a decent lead here, about 4,000 gold, a little less. Dragons and turrets still even, though, but now we're into the point where Samsung is going to have a really hard time outplaying a team like CJ from here on out. Here we go. Yeah, all coming in for Cyan. There's a oh, nice oh, oh, one on a Fury. Wow, Mad Life just is hitting everything today here. Shot, they're keeping on going in. Yeah, they're not done yet. Hemo Plague takes a big chunk out of Ace. He's going to use his ult to keep people away, but that's just going to focus CJ right onto Wraith, who has to flash over the wall to escape. Ace on the run still. Mad Life was coming around from the bottom. Not another stun loaded up just yet. Teleport coming in. It looks like they'll have to give up that mid lane turret for now. Yeah, no think. minion wave there in order to push that advantage, so good teleport use by Kuve to keep it upright, at least for the moment. I don't think they're going to be able to push this advantage any harder than they already have, but I love how aggressive we're seeing CJ play. Yeah, no kidding. This is definitely a bit of a change from what we've been used to in recent months, well, they really. Have, they have such a great dive composition, right? If Vlad takes yeah. aggro, you know, he's getting pretty tanky as it is, or he will be once he gets the Zonya's Hourglass compared to some of these turrets. and. Of course, shy ambition, high HP targets, and the speed boost from Sivir, so they absolutely can make plays. It was a good follow-up. Now Fury there. Yep. Mad Life making his way now towards that righteous glory. And so, the gold lead continues to increase for CJ as Mad Life goes out to get some wards down around Baron, it looks like. Yeah, CJ just playing this out nonstop aggressively is yep. really good to see. This is how you close one of these games. You continually punish your opponents. If there's not an objective up and you have this kind of composition, well, just keep on fighting them, keep on diving them and pushing them back, getting kills and incrementally increasing your gold lead. Yeah. And see, this is honestly one of the frustrating things about CJ as well, too, because where was this CJ at IEM? You know, where was the CJ and some other matches that we've seen this season. Oh, Flash from Mad Life gets knocked up, doesn't get the stun in. Eve's still getting locked up a little bit, though. He will go down once the Hemo Plague pops. There it is. And still continuing to chase here. Wow, Fury taking a big chunk. And he is in big trouble. Double kill now for Coco. Ace goes down as well, too. Man, Coco's Vladimir has just been so good this series as well, too. And he's so fearless with it. Just yeah. keeps on hopping in, blowing his summoners. Of course, getting that distortion enchantment. Great timing for the Baron. They certainly have enough tankiness with the Tibbers down in order to make that happen. And Madlife yep. again, coming through, getting a W stun down. 
in order to set up that play, and Fury just can't get a break right here, constantly being found out and picked off. Well, there's not really much protecting him, you know? I mean, you can't be up as far as he wants to be with the type of peel that Samsung has. Yeah, it's really rough. Ambition going for the early Aegis as well. That's really a great item. Righteous That's Glory this. done for Mad Life now. Oh, boy. Yep. Well, CJ. CJ already closing this one out pretty convincingly, about 7,000 gold ahead now at just 22 minutes in. And it's going to be pretty tough for Samsung to come back. And again, you know, they don't have the, they don't have the items, they don't have the kind of wherewithal as a team to make the plays that you would need to come back against a team like CJ in this position. Yeah, Coco so far in advance too. And even though Samsung does have good tur turtling capabilities with the Azir and the Kog'Maw. Uh, it's going to be so hard to prevent CJ from diving them on some of these waves. Oh, yeah. Ambition's Nunu has been really great, too. 75% kill contribution at the moment. Yeah, Space and Mad Life still both with 100% kill contributions. Yeah. They've been making, they've been so active on the map. It's really fun to watch. And Mad Life with more kills. The most fun part to watch. <laughs> Split push coming in. Yeah, so Vladimir Aaron. is so scary. Oh, man. Space is just going to destroy these turrets, too. Yeah, I think it's pretty much over. I'm calling this one. Yeah, you're right, too, I think. Yep. But this is the right play. They need to be grouped in order to defend with the Azir and the Kog'Maw. Otherwise, they just don't have a whole lot of wave clear. Yeah. Now, we've seen CJ make kind of questionable decisions and at this point in the game on, but they would need to be extremely just bad decisions to give Samsung the opportunity to come back. They kind of have to just hand this one over to Samsung to lose it. And there we go, Severalt popped. They're going to try to go in. They force him away enough to get the turret. Ambition flash snowball onto Fury. Where's Madlife? He's trying to get a little bit closer here. Kills already coming in for CJ. Space locked up by that Sejuani ultimate. But Eve having to try to escape. Madlife a little bit late to the party, but he comes in, gets his stuns. And zero from behind here. Ace doing a bit of work, but Hemoplank should finish him off. It does. And Kube stunned. That's going to give them enough time to nearly finish off this Maokai. But either way. Oh, oh, Ambition with the snowball. A Christmas present. New <laughs> new to you and Ambition with the grin. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I yep. love it when I kill people with snowballs. That's right. Who doesn't? Ace actually had a very good ult in that fight. Yeah, he did. Came in from the side, made things tough for CJ, but in the end, they only lost space. Uh, Madlife again showing up. He just did so much damage to Ace once he managed to land that Tibbers. Yeah. And here we go. Dragon right. number two for CJ, I guess. Haven't been a lot of dragons in this game, have there? Yeah, there's been a lot of fighting and a lot of turrets actually so far. Yeah. But not too, too many dragons. First dragon did come very late. Oh, look, they left ambition to. Sorry, oh, Chai's, to Chai's gonna hit the black shield actually. That was a good block by Ray. And then Fury at the very edge able to get a bunch of auto attacks off. Pretty decent Sejuani ult, but Ace does get slammed by the Tibbers, cleanses out of it. And then by the time Coco gets in though, He's going to unload with a Hemo Plague right on the back line. Ace. Good flash ult. It was a good flash ult, it really was. Yeah. And he did actually get the kill onto space right there, but unfortunately, they're just so far behind now. What was funny is that fight began with Kuve actually just putting all of his effort into zoning Mad Life out of the fight. That's the amount of threat that Mad Life presents at this point. It's pretty crazy. Oh, but he doesn't have 100% kill contribution anymore. 15 yeah. out of 16. It's okay. Space will win MVP now. I guess so. Unless he has an OQ moment. We'll see. He could. Fiendish Codex. Space looking to maybe finish that uh, Frost Queen's claim. <laughs> Double Aegis right now. Yep. Shy. Probably going to be a Banner of Command, actually. Yeah, why not? If, if you've already got one Locket, then I think if you're going to go for the second age, just like we saw before, Banner is the way. Yeah. It, if you're not worried about a large amount of AOE damage, which you're not really with Samsung at this stage, I do think that that is a very good way forward. Yeah, it's always nice to get that little bit of extra AP and CDR as well, too. I guess you get CDR from the uh, locket, yeah, too, but... slightly less. Yeah. The more the merrier. The more time Shy can run down the lane and into a wall, 
Oh, here we go. Here comes Jai. And right into Kuve. Okay, well, he's in the middle of the team fight now. The turret's going to go down very, very quickly as soon as somebody hits it. Meanwhile, Ace tries to go for an ult, but CJ's already behind, so it doesn't really matter. Azir not protected at all. And CJ able to I get in there and get tons of kills. I love watching these engages. They are oh, so yeah. fun, Doa. Really good setup from CJ, knowing how they were going to plan out and fight that battle right around the turret, taking the turret down at the same time and just cleaving through. So get the yep. turret low and then finish it off like that. Take what kills you can so you can move immediately into the inhibitor. Mad life dies, but it's okay. so well worth it. Well, yeah, I mean, that's support Annie, right? You get in there and you get a good stun and maybe one rotation of cooldowns. And if you die at that point, you've done your job. Yeah. Just love watching it with the Righteous Glory and the On the Hunt oh, yeah. coming in from Sivir. We saw that same kind of play from KT earlier today, and it's just been extremely effective, having a bunch of tanks just plow through your, the enemy <laughs> team. Yep, pretty much. And so Ace will just push back this top lane a little bit, but now with that inhibitor down and bot, even more pressure onto the Samsung team, and CJ 14,000 gold ahead. Wow. They've done a really good job of snowballing this game. Yeah, they have. Ambition especially, literally snowballing this game. <laughs> <laughs> Got to go for those flash snowball. Yep. Fancy new new engages. Flash snowball execute. And it is a banner. Look at that. Yeah, of course. Well, I mean, the more you think about it, yeah, why would you need a second locket when you can just get banner and, you know, extend your lead even farther by this pushing the lanes hard? Banner, banner with Baron buff is just so disgustingly good. It's yeah. so difficult. CJ's to, probably going to have that. You could just Baron stand there, right and what what the hell? How does Samsung kill the minion? They don't. You could literally just form a brick wall in front of the minion uh, because it's immune to that magic damage. Yep. And you have a choice: engage or, you know. <laughs> Do you think it was actually wise to use a banner on that one when Baron's up right now? Sure. It's only two minute cooldown. I suppose. Put on some pressure, punish them at least for actually trying to dance around the pit. Well, Baron being taken already by CJ. Coco looking for an opportunity to come over the wall on the back lines. They don't need a lot to kill this Baron. There's a ward down, Eve, zoned by Madlife. Ult comes in, Baron taken by CJ. Madlife gets blown up, but Ambition flashes over the wall, wants to make a play here. Fury flashing away, taking a lot of damage from Coco here. A little bit awkward. Ace comes back in, space still untouched in the back lines, and Ace is going to get. Eventually, well, actually, Coco in a little bit of trouble. Eve comes in with the knockup. There's the Zonias. Coco's still alive, waiting till the last moment, and he he's able to kill Ace. Fury and Wraith still up, but Kuve chunked out enough to be out of the fight. And Coco's regening health so fast. That Coco turret's in big, big trouble. Coco's Vladimir didn't look quite this good in game one, but he's making a lot of really stylish plays right here, oh, as we man. see super minions taking yeah. out a Nexus turret right away, and they have the sustain in order to keep on rolling. Yeah, Shy just ulting. Kube is going to soak that one up, but there goes the Nexus turret. Now Ace back in 10 seconds. Eve is back up, but the Nexus is getting focused, and CJ at 30 minutes will take the second game in dominating fashion. GG and CJ has completely locked up the playoffs for Champion Spring. That's right, and that means we know our four playoff teams. Yep. We don't know the order of two through four. Of course, number one seed will be the GE Tigers. That's guaranteed. SK Telecom, Jin Air, and CJ Entis will be shuffling amongst themselves. Yeah, SKT in a good position to hold on to that second place, but uh, yeah, it we'll depends see. a lot on tomorrow night, actually. It really does. Yeah, Jin Air versus SKT is big, and what's better than one mad life? Two mad lives. <laughs> but all they needed was one this time, man. Really excellent play on that, Annie. Is Mad Life back? Uh, well, one game, you know, but. That's why I put a question mark <laughs> on that one. I hope so. That was some very good Annie play yep. over the course of those games. And it was nice to see CJ looking so decisive on closing and. Yeah. And, you know, to Samsung's credit, they looked pretty good in game number one. Still a team that obviously is not ready to really make waves in 